here once again at the Chamber 5 at 5, and uh, I have uh, Daryl with me from the Bozeman Chamber. If you're a, a local business and you're not already a part of the Chamber, uh, get a hold of you guys because there's opportunities. Yes, definitely. You can reach out to um, you know, Kay Clark at bozemanchamber.com or direct lines 406-922-0446. She's been with us 20 years. Um, we don't, what would I call, we don't look at selling memberships. We sell investments back into your community, and if you put into it what we think that you can and get involved in the committees that are out there, I can almost guarantee you the first year you'll get tenfold back on anything. And this is a prime example with networking opportunities. You know, we look at the five at five. Businesses yes. get an opportunity to come on here that maybe would never have tried this before. Right. And hopefully you will see, you know, auxiliary business coming from it too. So Exactly. We love our partnership with the Bozeman Chamber, and I recommend it for, for any other uh, Bozeman business. Well, so. good. Thank you. And, and, and we can't do it without without the members and the partnerships we have. We, we, we try to do the best program we can do. But unless we hear from our constituents and from the business members of the direction they want us to go, um, then then we... we, we it's kinda, another thing yeah. that you can't complain about something <laughs> if you're not a part of it and offering up the uh, the complaint or a solution. Yes. You know, and that's uh, that, that's a thing. And, and it's good that there's an organization and, and folks like you that welcome it to say, okay, well, if you've got an idea or if you, you have an issue, let us know. You can't pr- uh, solve problems you don't know about. Yes. And that's, that's really... Uh, I, I think key to uh, you know having a successful community. Yeah. So, and I think you'll hear more about that, uh, Mike, in the next few days. Uh, this morning we had guests uh, at our board meeting at seven o'clock this morning, and I know urban camping and homelessness is a is a tough issue across the whole United States. But also just looking at how we're dealing with it or not dealing with it, as some would say. And and over the next few days, I know the commission's been talking about it. We had a dialogue this morning, and I think that you will start to see hopefully a good working group mixed up of businesses, the city, the community as a whole. Um, and move us back in the right direction uh, from what's happening uh, with urban camping. And again, there's nothing that the chamber doesn't get involved and engaged in because it's not a fun topic to be. Right. It's people like, well, why are you, why are you, we don't have the solution, but we do know left to its own accord, um, we don't like the direction that it's going right. for our community. And yes, we have a lot of things that we have to to invest in here. And then that be mental illness programs, drug abuse programs. We know that we have the Intermountain and we have Bozeman Health and Billings Clinic. We need to bring them together to find uh, the 811 and, and help that even further in our community. So those are some of the opportunities that, that behind the scenes people don't realize maybe that we're working on. They're not sexy. They're not fun and, and frustrating at best sometimes right. even for me because it's uncharted territory of not having what I like to be as a problem solver solution sure. <laughs> ended yeah. then. Yeah, well, everything can't be the fun stuff. Yes. You know, I mean, that, if, if, if it were that, then everybody would want our jobs. But yes. the fact is, is that there's some stuff that, that you have to do and, and use the uh, tools that you have yeah. available to, to try to come up with yeah. a solution. So, yes. uh, and uh, again, uh, this is a great event. Uh, if people uh, aren't familiar with it, get familiar with it. It happens once a month, yes. and it's uh, the chamber, uh, it's the business during during hours, okay? And that's because it starts at 4 o'clock so that it gives people an opportunity to cut out early and still have an evening. Or, still, if you work till 5, there's still a chance for you to come by after that. Yeah, there is. And that's one of the things. We moved it from a Thursday night to a Wednesday night. We just saw Thursdays now competing with high school sports and everything taking. Wednesday seemed to be the only night that was available. And and again, we love these networking opportunities and we like Montana Science Center for helping step up and sponsor and hosting us here. And um, like I said, we have great business partners uh, uh, throughout the community. So, yes, if you're not involved in the chamber, please get involved and don't sit on the sideline. If you have a voice and you are a member, please please contact us because uh, the only way we can do guidance and keep us moving in the right direction in the future is by having your input. Um, it's your organization and we're, we're fortunate enough to have about 1,200 members that we represent to give us their opinion and, and for us to craft then a good business plan going forward. All right. Well, as always, it's a pleasure to talk to you, Daryl, and uh, thanks for having us a, a part of the uh, Five at Five. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. Thanks for your time out here.